So today we are going to talk about lesson 5.2. We are jumping on a number line. So what this looks like is we get a written equation where it tells us how many jumps and how far we're jumping each time to get to a number. So on my very first problem for 5.2, I am doing two jumps of five. So I come to my first number line and I'm doing jumping on the number line. And because it wants two jumps of five, I'm gonna go to five for my first jump. And then I'm gonna count another five for my second jump. So I start at zero and I went one, two, three, four, five. There's jump number one. Then I went six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's jump number two. So two jumps of five puts me at ten. I'm writing where I end my jumps at on the number line. My second problem says four jumps of three. So every time I jump, I'm counting three spaces on my number line. So I start in my middle number line and I count one, two, three. So there's my first jump of three. One, two, three takes me to six. There's my second jump of three. One, two, three puts me at nine. There's my third jump of three. Nine, 10, 11, 12, there's my third jump or my fourth jump of three. So I jumped one, two, three, four times each time I count to three and I'm adding three, four jumps, one, two, three, four, of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, puts me at 12. I'm just counting my jumps and I'm going how many spaces it tells me. For my last number line on this page, it says three jumps of six. So I'm gonna jump six spaces. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's my first jump. I colored that in. That's one jump. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's another six spaces. There's my second jump. I want three jumps, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's six spaces, that's my third jump. So on my paper, the number of jumps is how many times I'm jumping across my number line. When it says of and a number, five, three, six, that's how far I'm counting on my number line for my jumps each time, okay? So 5.2 is two pages. The first page, I did two jumps of five, which got me to 10. I did four jumps of three, which got me to 12. I did three jumps of six each time, which got me to 18. We did these together in class. 5.2 has a second page. This is the page you're going to do on your own. So this first problem goes to the first number line. You're going to do seven jumps of two. You're gonna go one, two, make a jump. One, two, make a jump. And you're gonna have seven jumps and see where you land. And then you're gonna write your landing number, what number you end on, on this space. Your second problem, six jumps of four, is gonna go on this number line. I'm gonna do six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. But each time I'm going four. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, there's one jump. One, two, three, four, there's two jumps. I have to do six of those jumps going four spaces each time. What number are you going to land on? Whatever number you land on, you're gonna write it right here. My last problem goes with my last number line. 
three jumps of five. I'm gonna jump three times. I'm gonna go five spaces each jump. So if I start zero, one, two, three, four, five, there's one jump. I'm gonna count another five, there's my another jump. I need three jumps. What number I end up on on the number line is my answer. We are just doing the same thing we did on Tuesday. It's just instead of it being on the hundreds chart and counting how many times I touch the columns that I've colored or the squares that I've colored, skip counting, I'm counting on the number line. All right, my friends, have fun.